Before we begin, I want you to identify if the statement is agreeable or not agreeable behavior in driving. Write the word right away if you agree and wrong way if not. You'll have 5 seconds to answer the question. Number 1. Where is it belts always of the driver and passenger? The correct answer is right way. Number 2. A slight amount of alcohol intake is allowed to drive. The correct answer is wrong way. Number 3. Only children below 3 years of age are prohibited to sit beside the driver. The correct answer is wrong way. Number 4. Never attempt to drive especially if you are intoxicated of any alcohol drink. The correct answer is right way. Number 5. To avoid accident, a responsible driver must follow and never ignore the policy of driving law. The correct answer is right way. Nice one! Before we proceed our lesson, let us recall your past lesson in health. Choose the word from the box that describes the sentence. Number 1. The introduction of harmful materials into the environment is pollution. Next, a group of people sharing a common interest is fraternity. 3. The imposition of strenuous, often humiliating, tests as part of a program of rigorous physical training and initiation. It is called hazing. 4. The action of admitting someone into a secret society or group, typically with a ritual. The answer is initiation. 5. Voluntarily sharing of blood that is used for transfusion. And it is blood donation. Good job! We can start now our lesson. Every car is equipped with seat belts to ensure the safety of its driver and passengers. But most of the time, we often forget about wearing seat belts. There are also times where we intentionally disregard it since it's free and comfortable and it's limit our movement in the car. The Republic Act Number no. 8750, known as the Seat Belts Use of Act 1999, states that the driver and passengers, both rear front passengers of private and public vehicles, are required to use and wear their seat belts every time they're inside a car with a running engine on a street road and highway. This leaves the drivers and passengers with no valid excuse as to why they are not using their respective seatbelts while driving. The purpose of the seatbelt law in the Philippines is to reduce the chances of death and injuries from road crashes. This law also bans children six years and younger from occupying the front seat of any vehicle with a running engine even if the child is wearing a seatbelt as stated The effectivity and mandatory use of act. An act requiring the mandatory compliance by motorists of private and public vehicles to use seatbelt devices and requiring vehicle manufacturers to install seatbelt devices in all their manufactured vehicles. This was approved on August 5, 1999 and effective nationwide starting May 1, 2000, stated in Section 6 of the said act.
penalty and fines for drivers. The penalty for not wearing seatbelt in the Philippines or failed to inform and require their passengers to wear seatbelts will be penalized accordingly. And for the drivers of PUVs fail to instruct front seat passengers to wear seatbelts, the seatbelt law Philippines penalty will be a minimum fine of 300 pesos but not exceeding 3,000 pesos for each violation. For importers, assemblers, manufacturers, and distributors of the vehicle, The Republic Act 10586 or the Anti-Drunk Driving Law. Drunk driving is prohibited in all parts of the world. Each country has a law banning drunk drivers from operating and maneuvering a vehicle. In the Philippines, this law is also known as Anti-Drunk and Drunk Driving Act of 2013. The said act is signed by the former President Benigno Aquino III on 27th of May in 2013. The law is also known as an act penalizing persons driving under the influence of alcohol, dangerous drugs, and other similar substances. It is a law that condemns drunk drivers and gives the law enforcers the power to fine and imprison drunk and or drunk drivers. The said law also enables law enforcers to use a device called breath analyzers and to conduct a sobriety test and drivers who they believe is under alcohol intoxication or dangerous drugs. Field sobriety test. If the law enforcer has probable cause of alcohol intoxication, the standardized field sobriety test or SFTS is performed. It is a series of three tests that will determine if the driver is driving under the influence of alcohol in the Philippines. Eye tests are the horizontal gaze nystagmus. The first test is the eye test. In this test, the apprehending officer will stand about one foot away from the suspected driver and checks if it shows involuntary eye jerking while they are looking towards the moving objects from side to side. If the suspected driver fails the test, he or she needs to undergo a breath analyzer test. If the driver refuses to undergo these two tests, they will be penalized. Their driver's license will be confiscated and will automatically be revoked as stated in the Act. Walk and Turn Test This is the second test where the suspected driver needs to walk heel and toe in a straight line for 8 to 9 steps. They should turn at the end and go back to his or his starting point without showing any signs of difficulty. This test is done to check the ability of the driver in maintaining balance and following directions. One leg stand test. The third test will require the driver to stand with a one leg six inches from the ground for a good 30 seconds. This test is also done to check the driver's coordination and balance at the same with a walk Test. It also checks if the driver can still follow the directions. Breath analyzer filters. With the use of breath analyzers, law enforcers will be able to detect if the motorist is driving drunk. This device should only be used if the suspected drunk driver fails the three failed sobriety test. The Anti-Drunk Driving Law Philippines imposes hefty fines and heavy penalties. They are as follows. To conclude this, please be reminded that seatbelt is considered to be the most effective car safety device ever invented and it helps us to minimize the risk of injuries and death ever car crash or collision points.
for your activity. Choose the letter of the best answer. Below are slogans and driving. Much of the words that correspond with each other. Write the letter of your best answer. Complete the phrase into a sentence. Write the correct word on the space provided to complete the sentence. 